What's up everyone, it's Prometheus, and today, by popular request, I'm digging into the small but mighty Macchiato. And when I say small, I mean maybe two ounces at most. That means no whip, no caramel drizzle, just espresso and a little bit of milk. Which makes sense, since the macchiato in Italian means spotted, so in the most basic of terms, it's espresso spotted with milk. But like many other drinks you'll find in a cafe, this can be made in a couple different ways. The traditional dry version, or the third wave wet version. Of course, just like any, or at the very least most, espresso-based drinks, the final quality depends almost entirely on the espresso. So this goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway, take your time, dial it in, and get it right. It's up to you if you want to use a single or double shot, but I can't emphasize enough the importance of creating a good espresso bar and prep habits, as these will not only increase the quality of all your drinks, but also your consistency and understanding of espresso theory. The macchiato is a great way to put these skills to the test because it's small. Almost the entire drink is made up of espresso, and a bad shot can't be saved or covered up by a dollop of milk. So once your shot is dialed in, it's time to move on to the milk. And if you need a quick and dirty breakdown on steaming, I've got a tutorial linked in the upper right hand corner right now and in the description below. When it comes to steaming for the traditional macchiato, it's essentially the same as steaming for a traditional dry cappuccino. All of your standard steaming skills apply here, but the steam tip depth is the key component. You'll want to stretch, or in other words, aerate your milk. To do this, the steam tip should be placed just barely under the surface, and as you begin to add steam pressure, you should hear that distinct ripping sound and see the milk level in your pitcher begin to rise. Once you've created a good amount of foam, quickly put the steam tip below the surface to blend the foam with the milk, and add a little bit of heat. Once the pitcher is too hot to keep your hand on, you're done. The aim here is to create a dense foam that in the end has a texture similar to melted ice cream. Once you're happy with your milk, get a nice generous spoonful of that silky foam and just lay it on the center of your espresso shot. The amount is up to you, but I generally go for the less is more approach on this one. The benefit of this style is it really highlights the espresso and that little bit of milk foam provides a small amount of sweetness and texture. Plus, it's a bit cooler since there is just foam and very little to no steamed milk. Steaming for the wet version is a bit trickier. Getting that smooth, glossy texture with a small amount of milk takes some technique. There are three things to remember when it comes to steaming smaller amounts of milk. The first is tipping your pitcher to create more depth in your milk. The second is placing your steam tip at the deepest point in your pitcher. And lastly, if possible on your machine, is applying less steam pressure. Then, instead of spooning like the traditional version, in true third wave form, it's all about the latte art. The wet macchiato provides a near 50-50 split between espresso and milk, which makes it more of a balanced drink than the traditional version, but still with a stronger coffee flavor than other small espresso-based drinks like the Cortado. In the end, I definitely say both styles serve a purpose, and as similar as they are, they're actually surprisingly different in what they provide in terms of flavor. So definitely try them out, and if you already have, let me know which one you prefer and why. Also, if you have any ideas for future Espresso Anatomy videos, drop them in the comments down below, and as always, I'll see y'all next week. A big thank you to my August Patreons, Ads, James B, David, Christopher, John K, Squeegee, Roe, Brian, Lisa, Thomas B, Andre, Rick Racer, Sean, Noel, Spookus, Bound Coffee, Mika, Samantha, Nathan, Claire, Steven, James K, Josh, Andrew, Horison, Bobby, Corey C, Curry, Ninja Warrior Coffee, Testing123, Jason, Dave B, Jerry, Marcus, RD, Tim, Matt, Tony, Zachary V, Tyler, and UK Espresso. And of course, a big thank you to the barista and barback tiers. If you want any information on my Patreon, there's a link in the description and in the upper right hand corner right now. And last but not least, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that little bell button for notifications of new videos posted every Friday. Follow my Instagram at Prometheus for content throughout the week. My blog at Prometheus.com. My coffee at littlegiant.coffee. And as always, stay caffeinated, pony boy.